The summer days may be coming to an end, but one thing is for certain, Surfshark updates aren't going anywhere. App updates and more coming right up. Let's start with the Windows app 4.2 update. After a lot of requests from our users, our team has implemented an ability to customize the kill switch feature behavior. There are now two modes. First is the soft kill switch. When enabled, it will disable your internet connection only if your VPN accidentally drops due to a server outage. However, it will not activate if you disconnect manually. Second is the strict kill switch. With this mode, the kill switch will activate and disable your internet connection even if you disconnect from the VPN yourself. Here at Surfshark, we always want to give customization options to the user. So we hope that this change is a welcome one. On the other hand, the 4.2 Windows app update also removed the iKiwi 2 protocol. This particular protocol is primarily used with mobile devices due to its speed and capacity to switch networks on demand. In our testing, protocols like WireGuard and OpenVPN work much better on the Windows platform. With that being said, with the removal of iKiwi 2, our team can focus more attention and improve the functionality of other protocols. So expect better stability and speed after updating your app. The iOS dev team brought us the 3.4 update, which added some neat changes. First is the pause VPN feature. You can now suspend your VPN connection in case you need to access a particular website or service with your native IP address. This update also added auto connect feature improvements. For instance, now you will get a notification if you connect to the VPN via auto connect. This is useful in case your auto connect location is different from the one you have set on your quick connect button. Short messages have also been added in case you've been automatically disconnected from the VPN due to a trusted network. So all in all, we hope that you find these changes very helpful. Our Linux team also continues to shower us with awesome updates. The 1.1 Surfshark Linux app version adds three new features. First is Auto Connect. As the name suggests, now you can make it so the app automatically connects you as soon as you launch it. In combination with this setting, you can enable the app to launch on startup so that Surfshark can connect as soon as you turn on your computer. Speaking of automatic, the second feature is called Auto Protocol. So now, based on your internet connection and settings, the app will pick the best VPN protocol for you automatically. Thirdly, the app now also allows you to customize your Quick Connect button. And if all that wasn't enough, checking if your VPN is working just got easier because the last major change was in the connection dashboard. It now looks a lot sleeker and by clicking here, you can quickly access the Surfshark IP checker tool, which will let you know if there's any issue with your VPN. Anyway, that is all for this update, but more are coming very soon. So all of you Linux users better stay excited. But you know what never comes too soon? My plea to get you guys to subscribe to our channel. That way you get these update videos and many other pieces of content as soon as they come out. So get subscribed and hit that bell. Now, let's get to quick bits. Starting with the Surfshark browser extension, which received the 3.15 update. This version added a ton of things like the ability to pause the VPN, a new connection dashboard, and auto connect, which will automatically connect you on browser launch. Surfshark macOS 3.4 update brought improvements to the antivirus. Now you can scan specific files super quickly by just right clicking on them and selecting scan with Surfshark. Our research team also released a new project called Internet Shutdown Tracker. You can find it in the description below this video. When it comes to online censorship, blocking individual platforms isn't that effective because people can always find alternatives. That's why some countries use the nuclear option of shutting down the internet altogether. This page is meant for tracking such cases specifically. So if you want to find out which countries experience the most internet shutdowns, go check out that link in the description below. Incogni, a tool dedicated for removing personal information from dozens of commercial databases available in the US, the UK, and the EU, now also launches in Canada. If you want to find out more about Incogni, then go listen to our new Surfshark Wave podcast episode available right here. I had a chance to speak with Darius Belaevas, who is one of the leads behind the project. We spoke about data brokers and how your personal information could be used for some terrible things. 
let's say among those data points there's your name there's there's uh your address there's your email address there's in some cases uh, and it's quite extreme there's your social security number that's the kind of information that uh, in the hands of malicious agents can then be used in identity theft and uh, other kinds of fraud but that will be all for this episode of what's new in surfshark remember to hit that like button and subscribe to our youtube channel and in the comments below let us know which update was your favorite but that is all for me take care